Still tracking a few showers as we turn our attention to Saturday. Still expecting some scattered showers and maybe even a few scattered storms especially towards the end of the day. Storm Prediction Center keeping much of our region in a level two. We'll break down that severe weather threat here in just a second, uh, but we are still tracking a few light rain showers out there this morning. In fact, uh, once the rain clears out of here this afternoon, warm front lifting northward, it's going to set the stage for a, a very warm afternoon. You remember last or earlier this week we were talking about frost chances. Uh, not going to be the case here uh, going forward. All right, some scattered showers, scattered storms possible on Saturday. I still think there is going to be a lot of dry time. If you've got outdoor plans on Saturday at this point, I would not be canceling them. Uh, looking ahead to Saturday late afternoon, early evening hours, we will likely be tracking a few scattered showers and storms and an isolated strong storm or two is possible as a cold front moves in from the west. It clears the rain out of here for Sunday, though. Sunday looking like a picture perfect day to be outside. Once again, this morning tracking a few rain showers in a few areas. Uh, most areas, though, uh, have been waking up, uh, especially east of the Mississippi River right now without the rain. Uh, 56 right now in Sparta, 61 in Sparta or uh, in Metropolis. Poplar Bluff here at 58 degrees. We've got upper 50s as well into uh, Carbondale where they are actually are seeing some light rain that has been falling. Most of the showers right now have been out across far southeast Missouri, Perry County, northern Bollinger County, northern Cape Girardeau County, and then also parts of Jackson County and possibly as far south and east as about Goreville or so an isolated shower or two. But uh, most of the rain right now anywhere from say Virgins over towards Ava, Campbell Hill and then southward we've seen a couple showers move through Murfreesboro and some light rain moving into to the Carbondale area as we speak. There's the little showers we're tracking right now still around here for the next couple of hours. You'll see by lunchtime though as the warm front begins lifting northward, we get rid of the rain. Uh, still expecting a lot of clouds around. But once the rain clears out, temperatures quickly warming up into the lower 70s. And uh, this afternoon, we expect temperatures to generally be into the mid to upper 70s across southern Illinois. A few areas may be creeping into the lower 80s across the Missouri boot heel. Notice the timing here about 4 p.m. Some showers and storms moving through the St. Louis metro area. We'll have to keep an eye on that. There is a chance we could see an isolated shower, mainly right along Route 15, I-64 corridor late this afternoon and into the early evening hours. But by uh, 8 p.m. I'm expecting most areas to still be dry and then looking ahead to Saturday morning. A couple spot showers can't be ruled out. Most of the daylight hours though on Saturday you'll see here are going to be dry. Upper uh, 70s for high temperature, strong winds on Saturday from the south. And then late in the afternoon, here comes the cold front. A few showers, maybe a few thunderstorms as well, developing along and out ahead of that front. Fair amount of instability in the atmosphere. So any of these storms that do develop towards the later part of the afternoon, early evening could be on the strong side. And then that quickly moves eastward after midnight. Storms clearer east and uh, some slightly cooler air begins to move in for Sunday morning. Storm Prediction Center has pretty much the entire region in a level two. Main threats, strong winds, possibility of some hail, and I can't entirely rule out a, a brief tornado. I still don't think we are going to be talking about anything in the way of widespread severe weather, but an isolated strong storm or two is possible. Sunday, a dry day, but as the boundary returns back northward into the early part of next week, well, it brings some more wet weather our way. In fact, uh, the possibility of some heavier rain, especially through the uh, early and mid part of next week. If you do uh, have plans to be outdoors this weekend, make sure you've got that Storm Track 3 app, keeping up to date with those storms. Sunday, uh, 77 degrees, some sunny skies. That's hard to beat this time of year. Scattered showers, scattered storms in the forecast. There are only about a 40% chance on Monday goes up a bit on the Tuesday. And then more scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder into the middle of next week. It's spring though. It I'm is, loving isn't it? it. <laughs> I'm loving it. All right, thanks for that, Nick. Well, in the morning.